I'm Savannah Russell, and welcome back to the weekly review on PAC TV, where we highlight the top five news stories in NC State sports. Starting with number five. The number five Wolfpack baseball team was able to match NC State's best start to the season in program history with a 12 0 start, with their most recent win over NC Central. And number four. The number nine. NC State women's basketball team begins their postseason on Friday in Greensboro, North Carolina, going into the ACC tournament. The women look to keep the momentum going into postseason as they finish their regular season with a record of 25-4 and under head coach Wes Moore. Then number three, the NC State club hockey team wins both of their games in regionals, making them still undefeated and the only undefeated team in all levels of college hockey. With their regional wins, the Ice Pack qualified for nationals, which will be in Frisco, Texas, making them the first ACCHL team to ever do so. Number two, the NC State men and women swimming and diving team are both now ACC champions, with the men's team winning the ACC title for the fifth year in a row. Both teams are looking forward to competing in the NCAA championships, representing the Wolfpack. Finally, number one, NC State Director of Athletics Debbie Yao was named as one of the winners of the Under Armour AD of the Year Award. This comes after it was just also announced that Debbie Yao was featured in the Champions, Pioneers and Innovators by the Sports Business Journal. That is all for this edition of the Weekly Review. I'm Savannah Russell from PAC TV, bringing you Into the Pack.